We're gonna be putting the katana in there. Oh! oh. What up, Rap Pack? It's your boy, King Raptor here, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and if you guys are, you know the drill. Camera flip. It's about to get a whole lot brighter because today, guys, I saw your guys' comments. Right here, guys, if you guys didn't see the last video, you should have checked it out right here. But what this is, guys, is called a foundry. It makes anything inside of it up to 3,000 degrees. So we all remember that bullshit ass knife challenge, 1,000 degree knife challenge thing. That was, that was cool. But what if we had 3,000 degree things? <laughs> That's at least three times greater. <laughs> and what if we didn't put just a regular, you know, knife in there? What if we put some actual weapons? So today, what we're gonna be putting is actual full-size weapons into the fondry. This doesn't really fit, so it's gonna literally be sitting in there. But if you guys saw the video last time, the fire goes straight upward, so it should be able to make this entire thing hot. We'll put a baseball in there if it can fit. A tight fit, but oh, right there. Okay, first timer. Here we go. Oh. Got it in there. So that should work too. We're gonna put a bunch of weapons there. You guys wanted to see this happen, so smash that like button but also smash the like because both me and Parker have a cold <laughs> and that's not for a dramatic effect either <laughs> we both have a cold this is still getting done okay guys so like I said we're gonna be putting a bunch of insane stuff inside of there and be testing out a bunch of different satisfying targets but the first thing we're gonna be doing is silverware because I have no clue how fast this is gonna burn different metals so all of these different forks and spoons are made of some are stainless steel some are aluminum we're gonna see what happens to them and then we can start burning some actual weapons and seeing if like I don't want to put the katana in there it just melts down to nothing instantaneously so let's see what happens to silverware first. Oh, and there's been some upgrades since yesterday's last video. This is right here. This is the last glove. These are $40 Amazon burn proof gloves. They didn't do shit. But right here, these are $7 Walmart gloves. <laughs> but these are made out of silicone. And online it said silicone has a burn rate of like 3,000 degrees. Hopefully my hand should be okay today. I hope so too. That was, that was only $7. That's wet now though. Yeah. Oh, hand's always a little it's not wet. wet. It's not wet proof. So let's see. We got these right here. I'm going to go ahead and drop those in there. I don't even know why I'm doing this. It's not even, it's not even hot. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, that's one. Okay, guys, so we already have the silverware in there for a little bit. I'm just gonna pull out this knife real quick and we'll see what it looks like. Ready? Oh my. Okay, it's a little red, but not very much. Dude, it's a process. Do you see it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it changed color. the color. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> that one's red hot. Okay, we're gonna leave those in there a little longer, guys. Then we're gonna go ahead and try them out. Okay, guys, so we need to be able to test this stuff, but I need to be able to grab it. So if we use a katana for the bat even, we're gonna, I'm still gonna be able to grab this handle, which will also be very hot. So I need to see if these gloves are actually gonna work for me. So I'm gonna do is put it there. We're gonna put one of these on there and see what it does to it. Okay, that's red, red hot. That's red hot. Hey, it's working. No, it's not. It's working. No, it's, it's, it's totally working. <laughs> we're gonna have to figure out a plan, Nick, which is uncomfortable. Okay, guys, we're just trying to figure out how to grab this this moment. I don't know what we're gonna do. Hey, wait, here. I, I was wearing this one. Here, try this one. This one's leather, so maybe we'll try that one. Okay. Come on, you can oh, do it. God. Oh, man, that thing's hot. red hot. No, okay, no, that no, didn't no, work at all. We're gonna have to figure out. This is why we started with silverware. Okay, guys, so what I'm gonna be doing is because there is no way I can literally touch any of that stuff, I'm gonna be using these needle head pliers as an extension of my hand in order to cut into these right here. These Portuguese wieners. Why Portuguese? I don't know. I'm assuming they came out Portuguese, man. <laughs> there we go. We're gonna open this up and let's pull one out. All right, I'm gonna grab this knife out. Ready? Oh my god, it bent it! Oh my goodness, it's so easy to bend, dude! Alright, here we go. Oh my goodness, Damn. literally. This is like, not even like a joke when they say like butter. This is like actually like butter. Dude, it's cooking <laughs> it. You can smell it. Oh, dude, literally, it's instantly cooking it. Oh! oh. <laughs> it's literally just cooking the spot. You see that the spot right there is open? Okay, so that's why I wanted to test these first, guys. So we can't leave stuff in there very long. This was stainless steel, and it melted in less than like five minutes. So we would think a ton in there, it would melt too. So we're gonna have to be very careful. Now that we know what this thing is capable of, though, now we can start putting some bigger items in there. Okay, dude, I just want to show you guys these real quick. Can you imagine like putting a piece of food in your mouth with a fork? That <laughs> it better be worth it. Dude, I'm literally twisting this thing into a complete circle. <laughs> this is insane. Can you imagine doing this to all your forks in your whole house and then just putting them back in the cabinet after you're done? <laughs> just act like they never happened. Who did this? Who could do this? <laughs> what a dragon. All right, now let's cool them down. Oh. Oh my. Do you think that water is going to survive the whole thing or do you think the water will evaporate before water will evaporate? <laughs> that water is all gone in like less than 10 seconds, dude. We're in for an interesting time today. Woo! Okay, so we already kind of tried it a little bit to see if we could fit it in there. We couldn't, but we figured out a way to make it work. So 
what she said. Next, we're gonna be doing is a tomahawk, guys. This thing is gonna be fun. It's already, already taken all of the black paint off of it. We saw it get close to red hot. We're gonna try to get red hot, and then we gotta figure out how am I gonna grab this. So the thing is, guys, it doesn't fit in there like this. So what we're gonna do is we're literally gonna lay it there, just like this, ever so gently. And we're gonna leave it like that until the head of it gets super, super hot. And then we're gonna try it out a little bit. Okay, guys, like I said, this isn't no Mr. Gear, uh, the 1,000 degree knife. Not, not, not throwing no shade. What I'm saying is, is we need some help here. So what I have is two gloves on. We're gonna wrap the handle in this wet cloth and hopefully I should be able to hold that thing. And then we're gonna try and aim for our first target, which is this cantaloupe. God, I've never felt so bad for a singular cantaloupe. <laughs> Neither have I, man. Oh my God! That thing's orange. Oh my God, it's burning my hands through the glove. Okay, here we... Oh! Yeah, <laughs> Dude, oh, boiling cantaloupe came on me. Oh, <laughs> do you oh see the smoke God. coming out? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like a molten red X. This was sizzling inside there. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Oh my god! The table was on fire. Alright, the next thing we're gonna see we do is if normally when things get really, really hot, they're able to pop glass. I wanna see if just by touching this light bulb, if that axe will be able to pop it. Let's find out. Alright, ready? Alright. Huh. Well. What? <laughs> well, there <laughs> Okay, well, it didn't do it because I melted the damn light bulb it, somehow. It just went beyond. He's like, okay, we can't break. We have to, we have to melt this together. Alright, coconut test. You think it's capable of it? Here we go. <laughs> wow. Holy crap. Now that is how you, you break a coconut and you cook a coconut. Okay, so the Here's thing it. is, is the max is starting to melt. Here we go. Let's go slow. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. It's on fire. <laughs> we just put ketchup on fire. Oh, oh man. You know what I'm going to do now? Just let this thing rest in that ketchup. Okay. <laughs> dude, it almost hardens it. It just slides off, dude. Look at that. <laughs> the ketchup doesn't even know where to go. This. <laughs> Did somebody ask me some boiling ketchup? Okay, guys, so like I said, I have no clue how any of this stuff is gonna work. So the next thing we're gonna be trying to put in there is this baseball bat. It's a brand new Easton baseball bat. We're gonna try and just drop it in there. Again, it will not fit, so we're gonna have to just kind of just sit in there and hope for the best and wait for that to get out. And then we're gonna go for some swings and see how this thing works. Alright, guys, we're gonna pull it out. Here we go. Ready? Do it. What the? What? <laughs> Where, where's he, where'd he go? Oh! <laughs> That's the kind of the problem with this guy. You guys kept commenting, oh, do furnace weapons. Ooh. I'm trying to. Okay, we're gonna put it back in there a little bit and see what it does, I don't I, know. Oh wait, I mean, it's gone. There's no bat. There's a little bit left, a little bit of bat. There's a hat. Okay, guys. The baseball bat is not gonna work. Sorry, baseball bat. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh! <laughs> That's about all we could get with the baseball bat. Okay, so the baseball didn't work. Baseball bat didn't work. Let's move on to something else. Okay, so we're gonna be trying a different bat. Let's just first of all, I want to say that's still hot. Okay. I heard your foot sizzle. Yeah, I felt my foot sizzle. <laughs> what we're gonna be trying it out is Lucille. So since this is a solid wood bat, hopefully it won't burn all the way through. Hopefully we can get these this barb on the outside red hot before the actual wood burns. If not, then we tried our best here. The thing is, guys, I know a thousand degree weapon sounds good, but at three thousand degrees, things just start falling apart. <laughs> yeah, very quickly too. <laughs> There's always a second where I'm sitting here like, is this gonna blow up? Okay, cool. Is no. my life gonna be over? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so far it's just toasting the bat. Oh, that's sick. Oh, okay. It is red hot. Do you see them? The barbs are red, like barely. Let's try it on this orange. Oh! Oh my goodness! Now this, now this is what I'm talking about. That is some barbaric shit. Okay, we're gonna try this again on something bigger. Oh God. <laughs> well. You think it's good? Um, yeah. I think it's beyond good. I think it's- The pad is off. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> Look at the wound! Oh, the, bat, dude. the bat is falling apart, dude. That is without a doubt probably the most painful hit in the world. You have the impact of the bat, the barb of the barbed wire, and then the heat. You got one hit before this bat starts falling apart like it is now. Remember that one hit, man? It's indestructible. It is indestructible, and that person is the most unmerciful pain in the world. Okay, so the bat did not hold up. I swear I thought that was part of the bat, but it just ended up being your phone. <laughs> That's like less important. <laughs> That's 
<laughs> okay, guys, so the actual barbed wire is red this time. Like, oh, literally red this oh time. Oh my god, yeah. Okay. Oh Whoa. my goodness. Let's this turn is, that off all the way. This is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, here no, we I'm, go. I'm not even getting on that side. Three, yet. two, one. <laughs> I couldn't hit it hard enough. Woo! Update a whip! <laughs> okay, let's try it again. <laughs> oh! Oh. I'm sorry guys, my hits are so weak, but come on, I had a flaming barbed wire whip on the back of this thing. Well, anything that that touches is probably going to light on fire. Okay, that's why guys, all the hits in this video are going to be very light, because if I would have like hit this hard, this whip would have went, I don't even know where. Okay, let's move on to a different item. Alright, the next item I'm doing, I saw your guys' comments, you guys wanted to see a 3000 degree giant ninja star. Here we go, we're going to throw it in there. Okay, now we wait for that thing to get as hot as it can, and we try our best with it. Try not to burn ourselves. All right, here we go. Ready? God oh damn. my god! Oh god, we gotta hurry, Parker. Go! Go, Parker! God damn! Yo! Yeah! <laughs> my god, the whole it's thing is black. It is. Yep. Oh. <laughs> you guys have to give me some credit. That was literally, I have no questions. I'm gonna have blisters in my fingers tomorrow. It hurts so bad. I was like, go! Okay, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh God. It got all that wet, but somehow it's still dry. Okay guys, now we're gonna try it on Jeff, and then we're done. Then we're doing the finale, which is the katana, which I think is gonna have the best results, and I have some awesome targets. So let's try it out on Jeff real quick first though. Okay, here we go. We got Jeff the man right there. He's been talking shit. Now he's gonna be finally tasting the shit. Oh, right. <laughs> With the 3000 degree ninja star, here we go. Oh, it's not sticking in him for some reason. Maybe because it's really hot. <laughs> I will stab it then. Oh, that's why it's not sticking. Because as soon as it touches, it loses its traction. <laughs> oh my god, we just blob spray back out. Oh. <laughs> well, bye. <laughs> See you later. Bye. It was nice knowing you, Ninja Star. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking to Jeff. <laughs> Inner of Jeff's mind. What? <laughs> Jeff has a very sick mind. <laughs> the ninja star worked. All of this stuff, guys, is only working so well because things aren't supposed to be this hot. You know, you should probably not put it on the wood that's able to burn. Probably not. Yep. I'll clean that. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So the next thing we're going to be doing is the final thing, and that is the katana. We're going to be putting the katana in there. I have absolutely no clue, as with everything in this video, how it is going to hold up. This could be like the baseball bat and fall apart as soon as we start. I don't know. We're just going to put it in there and find out. Okay, so it's going now. I don't know if it's going to burn this handle up. I have no clue what's going to happen to any of this stuff. Let's just hope for the best here. Turn it up and Watch. Okay, okay, okay. I would wait and we'll see what happens, guys. Okay, guys, we're letting it get red hot. The handle is starting to burn off. Oh. I'm gonna get ready to try it right now. You ready? The, the, well, the, complete, the handle's completely burned off. You got it, you got it. Oh! oh. <laughs> okay, going for the pool noodle. Here we go, ready? Oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. Instantaneously. When you got a community pool, but you got three kids. <laughs> it's like literally nothing. Let's do this a long ways. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, man, that's so, oh, wow. Dude, watch this. You ready for the separation? I'm ready for the separation. <laughs> and release. They, they kind of fuse back. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh, that is just so satisfying. Right here, just take this little side piece off. <laughs> okay, guys, so we tried that. Let's try a few more targets now that we know this is going to work. All right, next target are these powerful footballs. Here we go, ready? Ooh. Oh, dude! <laughs> I cannot believe that is so much oakman. It's creating shade. I can't breathe. <laughs> God damn! So far, the katana is the best. Oh yeah. The katana's dude. held up the best over anything. They smell like different flavors, like almost. Oh yeah. Sh <laughs> cancer. Oh. Lung disease. Oh there you go. Oh, and prostate cancer. Okay, don't do this at home. <laughs> All right, next one is the packaging paper. Oh otherwise yeah. Otherwise known as bubble wrap. Oh. oh. Yes. <laughs> That is beautiful. Oh, 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 oh. There it comes. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh yes. The yeah. katana is definitely the best. The only problem is with all this heat treatment, it is like very, very, very bendable now. Oh, yeah. It looks like a... Uh, oh, my shoe. There we go. Cheese doodles. There we go. Cheese doodles. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh. 
Is it gonna- It's literally setting the cheese doodles on fire. It's like smoking. Oh, holy sh- That- Somebody in the last video told me when the smoke is like this, that means the smoke is literally denser than air. It wasn't able to go through it all the way, guys. And that's just because this is a thinner sword, and this is a very thick plastic. It can't retain the heat that long. But yeah, you can balls. literally see the smoke traveling through all the other cheese doodles. Okay, give it a little bit of extra heat. Let's see if we can get all the way through this thing now. All right. It's the cheese doodles, man! I can't make it through the cheese doodles! You read those Cheetos asteroids, the flaming Nots? Nothing's Asteroid. as flaming hot as this hot Cheeto. That is really a hot Cheeto, basically. That is a hot Cheeto. <laughs> wow, that's kind of beautiful. Whoa. <laughs> now you got a bunch of wet cheese balls. Sounds like my Sunday night. What do you do on Sunday nights? Put cheese in my balls. What? <laughs> the Choji's death scene be like. <laughs> this is how Choji would die. They would have stabbed him in the gut. A bunch of cheese doodles. <laughs> Okay guys, so the other katana, was, but it had no more use left in it, it's done, it was over with, but thankfully I am who I am, and I have katanas on deck, so I have another one, we're gonna be putting it in there right now, and we have another target on the right side of the screen, we're gonna be trying it on, so we're gonna test this out, and then we'll see how it works, oh yes, oh. okay, here we go, alright, so here's left all the leftover packaging material for fan mail, and all types of different things, so here we go, ready? Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, man. <laughs> oh God, it's on fire. <laughs> oh, dude, it, it cut all the way half. through. It cut clean in half, but it's just fusing itself back together. I've literally wow. cut it in half already, dude. There we go. Now you can see the cut. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm a lightsaber, dude. Just like, oh, what? I don't want this anymore. <laughs> oh, dude, you say you wanted to slice? I did. Oh, and there we oh. go. <laughs> so guys, I'd say a thousand degree weapons, they don't work necessarily perfectly, but if you can get well, stop being on fire. All right, so it turns out with 3,000 degree weapons, it's either a hit or a miss. Sometimes it's gonna make it better, and sometimes it's gonna make it a piece of shit. That's what we learned from this. If you guys wanna check out another video with the furnace, click on this video right here, where it's actually a video where we put a bunch of insane stuff inside the furnace, like aluminum, but gummy bears, all types of ridiculous shit. I gotta get this, because I have no more tables left. I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios, bloop.